Hey, check it out, check it out. It's like I want to smoke, but I know what happens when I smoke. And so because of that, I don't smoke. But if I'm around somebody that's smoking, it's a 98% chance that I'm a partake. It just sound like an addiction. so this is my outfit for today real simple it's 77 degrees in chicago today i don't know why but i am gonna take advantage of it these next couple of days are gonna be pretty decent this is what i'm wearing just a little cute little one too these are my you know these are my timo house shoes my actual love sandals that i'm gonna put on today are upstairs hey y'all so i'm out here super bogus my phone is on 39 damn percent it is 1106 i was supposed to be at the house way early in this i want to go y'all already know where i'm going I, okay bitch what you it's flicking the damn cigarette in 2023 cigarettes so get damn cigarettes so get damn high I, I i take my hat off to people that's still doing it it is truly showing that y'all really do have a damn uh, addiction and that is so unfortunate because i know y'all don't want to pay all of that damn money for these goddamn cigarettes well, i just left out of walmart i didn't take y'all in walmart because i only went in to get a couple things i want to get some hydrocortisone and some two percent milk but now i want to go to aldi's i don't think i'm taking y'all to aldi's either because we done been to aldi's a bunch of times like the vlog before last we went to aldi so no but um i see y'all in a little bit though hey y'all so i am leaving aldi and that was my whole entire fucking bag just falling over so that's awesome i told my mother i was gonna go to sam's club so now i'm on my way to sam's club okay franciscan bitch you was turning real close oh chicago heights popos all right i'm glad we're going in the opposite directions because y'all be on bull shit Ugh, i don't like this angle but we are in sam's club y'all so three things i need to get i want to get a watermelon gatorade and So I'm about to go and get some gas now. Then I'm going home. Baby, they be so damn aggressive. 302. Y'all, y'all aggressive like this for some gas that's 302. Baby, I like we don't want to get no 302 gas. You think it's gonna be cheaper tomorrow? I'm at a half a tank. It might be cheaper tomorrow. We let's we going home. I, I don't I don't feel comfortable with 302 gas. 298? Yeah. 258 yeah 302 uh -uh. that's too much i don't know about y'all but when i i become extremely unproductive and then i realize and recognize that i'm extremely unproductive because when i'm you know lifted i pay more attention to a lot of stuff like especially when it's dealing with my emotions like i'm really really more tapped in however it makes me extremely unproductive so it makes me a little bit sad then i fall into a little baby depression because i'm like god damn you really need to be doing some other shit but you stuck because you lifted so then i'm just like you know what i gotta give it up i gotta let it go plus 
even when I would, I liked the um, Stativa, is it? It's the one that's supposed to not give you the munchies, but baby, when I tell you it still gave me the munchies, I was gaining weight, I saw myself gaining weight, so I'm gaining weight, and I'm unproductive, I'm like, hell no. Hell no. I don't know what they put in the dispensary weed, in, in the dispensary weed but um, Taquan shit do not be like that. People be like, I was addicted to weed. And I'm like, you can't get addicted to weed. You can't get addicted to herbs. You can't do that. But what I have learned is, even though I do not feel like I have an addiction, is that like some like an addicted person would say? Although I do not feel like I have an addiction, it is something that I never write off. You know, it's always something where I'm like, I might not smoke for a year or two. But I always, you know, I always start on the block. I always start on the block. I'm like, hey, Green, is that an addiction? Where you can stop? It's like, I want to, but I, it, it, because it's like, check it out, check it out. It's like, I want to smoke, but I know what happens when I smoke. And so because of that, I don't smoke. But if I'm around somebody that's smoking, it's a 98% chance that I'm a partake. Bitch, that sound like an addiction. That sound like an addiction. I'm gonna say it's not because it's hurting my feelings uh, talking about it right now. So I'm gonna say it's not. If it's wrong, I don't wanna be right. Y'all, let me roll my windows up. Hold up. Oh shit, bitch, it's hot. Wait a damn minute. It's 76 degrees out. God damn. Why is this on my eyes? Oh! Calm down. Calm down. Calm the hell down. I'm trying to talk to these people. Hey, y'all. I'll see y'all when we get back to the palace and I'll show y'all what I got from all these. Hey, y'all. So I'm back at the palace. So from all these, I got bananas. Great. This coconut shrimp, they ain't had a camel baby like so hopefully you like that. Strawberries, Greek yogurt. These are like some of the same old, same old. I got some kombucha. I had this kind last time and I really like it. It has like a, it gives like an apple cider vinegar type vibe. Some dry cranberries. I don't like apple cider vinegar. I bought some garden salad instead of the romaine salad. So I could just like add some stuff to it. Some pickles. And then y'all, I got some baby cucumbers and this spinach and parmesan tzatziki i saw a girl on tiktok and she did a it was tiktok or instagram she did like a cucumber tzatziki salad and they was like oh they sell uh cucumber tzatziki at aldi's not man not the one i went to so i figured i would try this one because either way whether i eat this with crackers or with the baby cucumbers it's gonna be good and that's it y'all so I'm about to fix me something to break my fast, and then I'll be back with y'all a little later. Hey y'all, so I forgot to come back to y'all. I am about to go to bed. I ain't even gonna, not even gonna front. It's giving, it's giving belly right now in this room. It's, it's really giving belly, but that's besides the point. I'm greasy and everything. Hey y'all, so I actually just left the gas station not too long ago and I am hungry. It is time for me to break my fast. Today I don't want a yoga ball. I really want some Panera. So we finna go to Panera. Turn mm -hmm, right, mm -hmm. then turn left. Can I have a Chipotle chicken avocado melt, the half? And do you all have broccoli cheddar soup? Yes, we do. Okay, can I get a cup of broccoli cheddar soup with the bread? Okay. And a cup of water, please. That's all. Do you have your words card? No. All right, it's 1273. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, Hello. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Hold on, Thank you. Don't see. Did y'all see how when I was giving Keisha, when I was giving Keisha, yeah, I had the fresh face wash with the shea butter looking. I was giving greasy. I was giving Keisha with braids, you know, 
let me let me have it. Let me just say that, okay? You ain't even got to do all that. You ain't even got to do it all. Hell no, nah, she don't. Keisha ain't had no bond at all. Her shit was like, okay, but listen. I'm a, I'm a different kind of Keisha. I'm the, I'm the Candace. So, yeah. I'll see y'all back at the palace. Okay, y'all. So, I'm back at the palace. Got my Chipotle. I got my water already, so we're going to start on the leader. Yeah, so I had to go. I had a dentist appointment today because the... I had got a crown and y'all the filling in my crown fell out and when I tell y'all I've been struggling for too long <clears throat> in my opinion with having basically literally a hole in my tooth and so every time I eat I have to like pick it out so I'm just like really really looking forward to this meal because I ain't gotta pick nothing out my tooth because I ain't got no hole in my tooth no more. So yeah, so I've been watching this show on Netflix called Inside the World's Toughest Prisons. And a man who goes to all of these prisons, he went to prison for a murder that he didn't commit. And he said it took him like 12, 13 years to prove his innocence or whatever. Innocence, I don't know if he went, stayed in jail for like 20 or something. But when I tell you, it's giving fetish. Because if I was wrongly accused, this, this won't happen. I, I ain't even speaking into the universe. But if I was somebody who was wrongly accused for a crime and I had to go to prison for any amount of time, the last thing on my mind is wanting to visit the world's toughest prisons after that. I don't want to go to no prisons after that. So I just don't, I don't understand the mind frame behind it, but I appreciate the show. Um, He's a very strong person because it couldn't be me. It could not be me. But y'all here in the Philippines. Yeah, oh, the Philippines be doing them dirty. What episode is this? I don't even know what episode this is. But it's the, the episode is the Philippines, the war on drugs, prisons. Oh, the Philippines, they got a quota that they got a... Um, they, he said that they have a quota that they have to fill every day for arrest and so when they can't make their quota they just be snatching up random people and saying that they got drugs on them apparently meth is real big there and because they say it helps the people stay up so that they can work because you know the work environment is crazy in the philippines apparently but yeah i was watching it and i'm like the prison is like holding like three times its capacity it's crazy y'all y'all gotta see it but i just was watching the show and i'm like if you went to prison, why would you want to then do a show about you? Go he stayed in prison for a week. For a week, the inmates be mean to him and everything. He be working in the prisons, talking to the other inmates, and this be my thing. If I'm in prison, I don't care if I was found guilty. I'm not gonna tell you I went to prison for murder. I'm not gonna tell you I went to prison for racketeering or fraud or whatever. I'm not gonna tell you I went to prison for that. They be in there. Oh yeah, you know I had a murder. I'm in a gang. Um, I shot up some people. I shot five people. I, I shot 55 people. I killed 20 people. I was a mafia boss. I'm like, why are y'all telling this man this stuff? Y'all know what's going on Netflix. And even if you don't know what's going on Netflix, when y'all see them high grade thousand, multi thousand dollar cameras in y'all face, y'all not thinking what is going or do y'all know? Y'all just don't care. Because a lot of these other places that I'm noticing, they don't give them life sentences. They'll put you in prison for a long time, but not for life. So I'm like, shut up. Because I'll be like, baby, don't ask me nothing. I'm in here trying to do my time and keep it pushing. So, anywho, I'm about to eat my food, y'all. And I'll talk to y'all in a minute. It's a big gamble. Lots of Greenlandic locals fresh out of Tristan. One of the few. You have to take all your clothes off, empty your pockets. Hey y'all, so one of my brake lights went out and I'm going to replace it because I ain't got time for no popos to be pulling me over. First things first, these are the items that you're going to need. So you're going to need either a Phillips or flathead screwdriver, the actual brake lights for your specific car, some diaper wipes in case your hands get dirty, that's for the ladies because you know we don't like that. And then something to put on the brake to weigh it down. This 25, my brother's 25 pound weight is good enough. So just for reference, I have a 2005 Chevy Trailblazer EXT. And so this is the replacement light bulb. So let's go ahead. First thing we're going to do is put the weight on the brake. So as we can see, this is the brake light that needs to be replaced. So I'm going to take the weight off of the brake and then we'll go ahead and get started replacing it.
So now that we have the brake light out and disconnected, we're going to take off this screw and this screw. So the top bulb is the brake light, so we're gonna take it out. I'm gonna use our new bulb to replace it. Hey, Bella.